All right, I was just at this thrift store a few days ago. I had a hunch to come in here and see if it pays off. Normally when I have a hunch, it works in my favor. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes I'm just eager. But I have a good feeling about today. I have a discount card, so I'll be getting 20% off today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. Hey, how are you? Excuse me. Thanks. All right, guys, we've got a revenue counter up on the top of the screen. First pair was this pair of Innovates. Uh, those are a running shoe. I found these vans right here, but unfortunately they were sliced up on the edges. I'm not really sure how that happens. I'm not sure if that's a skating thing that happens or what, but they were destroyed. Found this pair of Asics right here. I ended up getting these very, very clean. Uh, they did need a little wipe down, but we got those dialed in. Found this pair of Nikes. The swoosh was starting to come off, but I figure a little bit of glue will definitely shore that up. And sure enough, it did. I put some glue on it, clamped it with a clothespin, and a couple hours later, it was good as new. I was pretty excited about seeing these Air Force Ones here, but they were destroyed on the bottom, and I'm not gonna sell something like that to a customer. So I put them right back up on the shelf. Found this pair of Adidas. I think I've seen these Adidas in the past and I passed over them, but today just seemed like a good day to get them. So I did. There are those vans that are right there and apparently I'm not seeing them as I'm walking through the store. I found this pair of vans right here and ended up giving these to my son because they were his size and he really wanted a pair of vans with the white stripe. He wanted black vans with the white stripe. So cleaned them up and gave those to him. Looking through some other shoes to see if there are any brands that are interesting to me. There are not uh, currently right here. So I turn around and I head back the other way. I finally saw those and picked them up. Super filthy on the bottom, but men's size 13 can't go wrong there with that colorful Vans Authentics, so I picked them up. I found this pair of Alberto Fellini shoes and I went to go grab my phone to check comps and realized my phone was not on my person. So I panicked, freaked out, and started uh, wondering where I left my phone. Did I drop it? Did it get stolen? I realized it was probably in my van. So uh, I did something very tactful, very sneaky, sneaky. I threw all of my shoes into the, the main part of the cart. I grabbed this little scarf. I threw it over my shoes and I hid my cart. I didn't hide my cart. I stuck my cart over by the men's room where people typically leave their cart if they have to use the restroom. And then I rushed outside. This is actual real time. This is how fast I run. I'm so fast. Uh, ran back, got my cart, and I slowed it down into normal human motion so that you can all see what I do. Uh, I am super fast, though. Just kidding. Okay, some Adidas right there. They were totally worn on the bottoms. I found these Vionics slip-ons. Really nice condition. An easy $25 pair. A pair of Colombian walking or hiking shoes. I picked them up. Walking around, found these Keds with additional insoles in them, so I bought them. I take those additional insoles out and I save them for shoes that don't have insoles, and then I just put them as aftermarket insoles. Found this pair of Asics right here. Good condition, dirty, but no rips, tears, or stains or anything like that, so I threw them in the cart. Found this, these Converse, totally destroyed, gross, filthy, did not want to deal with them, put them back. Definitely one of the finds of the day. Another pair of Nike Air Max 270s. These are kid size, so they go for about sixty to eighty dollars. And uh, I have the adult, or I had the adult size. They recently sold a couple days ago on Mercari for one hundred nineteen dollars plus shipping. And the adult size sells very well. I went to the uh, to the clothing rack that they just brought out from the back and found these four pairs of five eleven tactical pants. The four pairs that sell the that sell together as the same size go for one twenty five plus shipping. So I grabbed all four pairs. They were $5.79 per pair, and I got 20% off of each of them. Super pumped about these, really, really great. They are my size, so I was a little tempted to keep them just because I need jeans or pants all the time, but I ended up uh, getting those listed. I got this Magellan Outdoors shirt. I'd never seen that brand before, but I found two of them in the store, and I checked the comps, and they were good. Ocean to Coast, 
or Ocean Coast, uh, a solid fishing shirt. We've got this uh, second Magellan Outdoors shirt right there. We've got a Columbia, just a basic Columbia Outdoors hiking shirt. We've got a Nautica Performance Deck shirt. The Performance Deck shirt always sells really well. Izod Saltwater Pullover Quarter Button thing, awesome. Allen Flasser, I believe is the, the brand on that, Allen Flasser. A really nice Johnson & Murphy spread collar button down formal shirt. I just wanna make sure that I know I don't know what's going on with them. And I have a card uh, that's filled out. All right. You need another card? Uh, yes, please, if you don't mind. Sure, yeah, I'll round up the next dollar. Cool, thank you. Oh. All right. There you go. Headed out the door. You. You're welcome. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-two, one fourteen divided by twenty-two. Five eighteen a piece. Not bad. Here we go. Happy Monday. Happy Military Monday. Into the thrift of it. Yeah, we're grabbing a cart. We're gonna check and see what kind of shoes they have. Unfortunately, this store seemed a little bit light on shoes this particular day. A pair of Keds, leather, white shoes, uh, basic $20, $25 pair, great. Some Nike basketball shoes. A little bit dirty, a little bit of the paint is rubbing off on the midsole, but we'll get those cleaned up and repainted and get them sold. I found these really nice Sam Edelman flats, but unfortunately the little faux leather around the edge there was definitely peeling off, so I left them behind. This pair of Nike running shoes, similar to the ones at the other store, but these were totally bald, so they went back on the shelf. Found this pair of Adidas, really good condition. They did have some like food splatter on them, so I will be getting those cleaned up to list, but I did pick them up. Wandering around, checking out the shirts, going through to see if I can find anything worth selling. Uh, long story short is yes, I did find a lot of stuff worth selling. However, I did not record a lot of it because there's so much of it. Here, we got a Pearl Izumi uh, bicycle shirt. These are a really good item to pick up. A, a solid $25 shirt whenever sold on eBay. Going through, just looking at shorts, picking up a ton of shorts. The manager actually came out and told me or asked me, jokingly, uh, to just buy the entire rack. I told her I couldn't buy the entire rack, but I would buy a lot, and I did. Here's me sorting through everything, doing quality checks. Look how fast I am. That's actually real time. That's not sped up. That's just how fast I move all the time. And then I slowed it down once again so that the video could actually be captured because of my lightning speed, all these shirts. I found this Mizuno women's bicycle shirt, bicycling shirt, uh, so I picked that up. Got this pair of Nikes. Either they brought these out whenever uh, I was off looking at shirts or they were there the entire time and I did not see them. Got those Sperry's and then a pair of Crocs right here. A lot of bread and butter stuff. Nothing special, nothing fancy. All right guys, so it's at this point in the video where the video kind of falls apart because uh, I stopped recording and then I found a couple more items, uh, just basic items, and then I went to check out. I had a lot of conversations while checking out, talking with managers and other employees, and a lot of stuff really just happened very quickly. And then before you know it, it's time to go, and I didn't film any of it because it was all happening in real time. So it kind of fell apart. You can see the total up above. Um, that's not including most of the shirts that I found at this store, as well as the shorts. I didn't even show any of the shorts that I found at this store, and currently, my office is overrun with stuff. So the idea behind what I'm doing here is um, I'm going really, really heavy on the spring and summer season items. I am absolutely uh, just giving it all I've got when it comes to spring and summer items. That's t-shirts, golf shirts, fishing shirts, uh, even some like casual or formal shirts, as well as shorts. That's Bermuda shorts, denim shorts, board shorts, uh, comfortable lounging shorts, any kind of shorts I can get my hands on. Um, as long as they are a reputable brand. At this store, I paid uh, something like $4.19 or $4.25 per item, 
because I averaged down so much with the shorts and the shirts, which are really well priced at this store. And then today I actually went out and did some more filming at other stores and I picked up another 50 or 60 items between a couple stores. So um, I'm going super, super heavy on obviously the shoes because that is something consistent that just brings in good money. But the shirts and the shorts, I'm going crazy on right now. You can probably see behind me on this, on this rack right here, this is all stuff that I purchased today. There's shorts up there on top of the, on top of the rack. There's all these shirts in the back. Everything from my hand over that way has not been photographed or listed. And then I've got a ton of stuff uh, on my other racks over here that have not been even photographed. I've got bins of shoes. I literally have, at this point, well over 100 items that need to get um, photographed and listed. And then obviously like shoes need to get cleaned and photographed and listed. Um, so my work is cut out for me. I do want to take a moment to apologize for being so sporadic here on YouTube. As far as uploading videos, I've just been so busy in the thick of actually doing the work that it's hard to pull away from the work to get other work like YouTube work done. Even though, as you may remember from the beginning of the year, when I talked about my goals and aspirations for the year, YouTube is definitely my number one priority as far as what I'm trying to grow the most throughout the year. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you saw some brands that kind of piqued your interest. Spring is upon us. We're a couple days into spring. Let's absolutely get out there and kill this reselling game. Thanks for watching. I hope you got value. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already, if you like this kind of content. And as always, I will see you on the next video.